A good Wednesday to everyone. Today is the 20th day of January 2021. Welcome po sa isa na namang edisyon ng The Stock Market Today. Ako po si Benji Chitoro, inviting you to join me as we take a look at the latest news regarding Philodrill and ICT at ang resulta ng trading sa PSE. Lahat ng yan dito lamang sa January 20, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. So let's start with the PSEI. The PSEI ended in the red again at uh, uh, 7143.30, losing 55.15 points. That's 0.77% lower than the previous day's close. Well, we consider it cons uh, still going sideways. And um, it's slightly, the candlestick is slightly below our indicators, indicating a bearish trend, but this is still a sideways movement. Still our resistance, I would place it at the 7300 level. While our, our support, I would place it here at the 700 or the 7000 level. We'll take a look at the market summary. 137 declined, 91 advanced, while 40 remained unchanged. There was net foreign selling at 688.39 million. As for the all share index, it declined by 0.45%. And for the sectoral indices, only one sector gained, which is the services at 1.34%. The rest of the sectors are in the in, in the red. The decliners were was led by mining at 2.19%, followed by the holding companies at 1.21%. And uh, as for the most active, again, the second liners dominated the most active stocks. The index stocks could only manage ninth or and tenth places, no? which is Ayala Corp and SM. And so we will be reviewing today APL, AR, ABA, BSC, MRC, DITO, OV, PHA, Ayala Corporation, and ICT, which is in the green today we have news on ov which is field drill and ict and we will um, discuss the news as we review the stock so let's start with apl apollo global capital ended in a positive note today it gained 0 0.0 or six and a half centavos or 17.81 percent to end at 43 centavos and um, it continued to move higher, and there is above average volume. But there, are, there is a week on both sides indicating that uh, at one point, it had a high of uh, 37, uh, 47.5 centavos and a low of 37.5 centavos, a uh, range of 0 0.1, 0 0.1 centavos or 10 centavos, which is a, uh, a large range, no? Our indicators indicates that uh, the stock continues to move higher, although wala naman talaga itong news, ano? just market sentiment driving the stock. Let's take a look kung meron na news. Wala. No, a month ago itong news na ito. Yun yung kay, um, kay APL. Ano? Let's take a look at the SNR, Support and Resistance of Investa. Ang pinaka-support ng Investa nandito sa 24 centavos. Pero... I think I would place the support at EMA20, a, a bit lower, which is uh, 23 centavos, so almost 24.8 share, almost 25. But I will place the support at EMA20 at 23 centavos. And the resistance, wala akong mailalagay na resistance if this is the highest already. No? So hindi, hindi natin malalagyan ng resistance level to because this is the highest level that we have had on the stock. Okay, so that's um, 
that's for APL. So this continues to move higher, pero if you want to trade, make sure that you have your risk management ready. Kasi hindi masyadong tinetrade before yung stock na ito. Ngayon lang nagkaroon ng PVT. Okay, next, let's take a look at AR. Okay, si AR, let's put it back to one day. And a red candlestick, na profit taking siya. The profit taking siya, it opened higher, a gap up of uh, 0 0.01. And it closed at 0 0.0085. So, bumaba siya. So, may news ba ito? Wala, eh, no? Unusual price movement. So, wala siyang news, just market uh, sentiment, no? So, nagkaroon siya ng profit taking today. And I would place the, it's just near resistance, no? The nearest resistance is actually, or the nearest support is actually here. Tingnan natin kung merong historical to. I think merong historical. Ah, meron nga. So I would place the I would place the resistance here. Pero this is 2015 pa. Ha? 0 0.0096 will be our resistance and our support is tama lang to at um, 0.079. No, so tama lang yan. Let's put it back to one day. It's either that well our indicator still um, is still very very bullish and if you take a look at our RSI it's at uh, 71 indicating a bullish momentum no kahit uh, nag profit taking yung stock pero uh, just again again um ingat lang tayo because uh, hindi ka anong tinetrade before itong stock na ito no that a liquid to stock na ito eh pero um maaring mag patuloy na mag consolidate ito before moving higher or it's it's either bumagsak ito or mag-consolidate o tumakas. So, yun yung normal uh, movement after uh, moving upwards uh, during a, a breakout. Okay, during a breakout, what happens is that it can either move higher if the volume will permit or mag-consolidate. So, ito maaaring a sign of uh, reversal or consolidation. Depende kung ano yung candlestick na makikita natin bukas. 0 0.0096 yung resistance. Siguro, let's plot another resistance. Ano? Kasi nag-pierce lang siya dito. Eh. So, the next resistance after 0 0.096, it would be here, 1 0.130. 0 0.00129 is the next resistance level of um, AR. Kasi merong um, resistance level na historical. So, na-reach na lang pala niya yung, yung historical niya at 0 0.0129. Ano? So, yun pala na ating resistance level dyan. Okay, after AR, ABA. Uh, pardon the sound, ano? plastic yun. Kasi my son is making a model building. <laughs> yung leaning tower ng piece, of pizza. Okay, just um, from time to time, may maririnig kayong parang plastic sound. Yung anak ko yun. Okay, next is uh, ABA. Okay, ABA also succumb to profit taking although the closing price is still higher than the open the, the closing price of the previous day and hence a green indicator here no? 0.22 yung i'm sorry 2.22 is uh, how much is the price higher than the previous day's closing no? so 2.22 percent because the closing price in the previous um the, in the previous day was uh, 1.35 close at 138 Kaya green ito. Pero red ito because the open price is higher than the closing price. Kaya red candlestick. No? Kung makikita nyo, parang contradictory. Pero yan ang ibig sabihin niya. So this is what you call a, um, actually, pang morning star, uh, evening star. Evening star, no? Mukhang evening star to. Pero malaki yung kanyang value. It's either one of two things. This is a sign of reversal if you see another red candlestick whose closing price is lower than the closing price of the previous day. Pero, kung makita nyo na yung candlestick ay halos kapantay lamang nito. No, yung next day candlestick, halos kapantay lamang nito, mas maliit o kapantay lamang ng candlestick na ito. Maaring nagko-consolidate lang yung stock. Okay? So, yun yung dapat nating abangan. In the meantime, the uh, support level we place it at EMA20 at 0 0.83, 0 0.83 or 83 centavos. While the 
resistance level, let's see kung mayroong historical. We take the historical. Masyado na malayo yung historical eh. So, 1999 pa yung pinaka malapit dito. So, estimate lang natin to ha. Mga, well, I would say nasa 2. Nasa 2 pesos yung historical nito. Yan, 2 pesos. Yan yung historical um, resistance niya. So, balik natin sa one day. So, yan yung mga levels na pwede natin tingnan for ABA. And, uh, yun nga, yung guidance natin, no? Is uh, either nagko-consolidate yan or this candlestick may be a sign of reversal. Okay, BSC. Nagtitrade ba kayo ng mga ganito? Mga second, second liners? Ngayon, BSC had a, um, another red candlestick which is lower than the previous day. Maaring sign of reversal to, no? Or maaring nagko-consolidate lang. Maaring pababa na yung stock. We'll take EMA20 as our support level. This level here, 1.91 as our resistance. Okay? So our indicator would say that the stock is still moving upwards. So ang support level natin would be, uh, tingnan natin, pwede sa 148, pero pwede natin ilagay sa EMA20. Eh. EMA20 is 0.85 or 85 centavos. Is our support level. Yung ka-invest naman. Malapit, 0.98, ano? Lagay natin sa 0.85 yung ating support level. So as in any uh, stocks which is coming from a breakout, it's either na nagko-consolidate lang to or maaaring tumuloy na pababa yung, yung stock, no? indicating a bearish trend. Ang uh, nakikita kasi natin ngayon is uh, parang nag-U-turn na siya. No? So abangan natin sa susunod. If you see another red candlestick na mas mababa pa, kesa dun sa ating support level, then maaaring nagbago na yung trend. Ngayon, if you see a green candlestick the following day, maaaring nagko-consolidate yan. Okay, after that, let's take a look. MRC. Okay, MRC continues to move higher, although this is a red candlestick today. But uh, if you'll take a look at the candlestick, it opens siya higher and close lower. But the structure of the candlestick makes it look higher than the previous candlesticks, no? Although it closed lower than the previous uh, closing price. Pero, moving higher pa rin siya. So, if you see the EMA20, yan yung ating trend line. Eh. So, I would take the support at 71.71. Actually, malapit na sa EMA20 is 69. Eh, no? Well, when we talk of support and resistance, this is, these are not specific points but areas. So, moving upwards pa rin siya based dito sa ating 20-day uh, exponential moving average. Okay, dito. Okay, dito parang ano lang siya. No? Nagko-consolidate lang itong si dito. And for several days already, it has been consolidating. Bumaba na siya from the, our support level previously. No? Kasi previously, nilagay natin yung support dito sa nandiyan siya. So it's just below support or uh, just within the, the support area of uh, 11.30. Well, the resistance would be here, somewhere here at 13.50. Then, after that, let's take a look at OV. Okay, OV uh, had a red candlestick today. It's a huge decline, no? From an opening of 3.9 centavos, it lost 0 0.0040 centavos to end at uh, 2.4 centavos. So, yan si OV. Pero, nasa, it is still above the candlestick, which would make the stock. No, but maari nag profit taking lang to eh kasi kung titingnan mo yung previous days nag uh, stop trading to because of uh, the news no of uh, that it was awarded a service contract in the Palawan area. Ang nakikita ko dito is that nilalaro ito sa ng mga traders sa stock market. So maari nag profit taking lang today after 1 2 3 3 days of uh, exceeding uh, the 50% zone. No, ito 47.4, 37 the previous day. Dito naman, 46% gain. Here, it gained 8.33%. Dito, it lost 14.49%. Let's take a look at the news for OV. Okay, Field and Drill is operator of onshore gas exploration project in Mindoro. So, this is January 19. And this is the source of speculation in the price of the stock. No? 
This land exploration company, Field Drill Corp., is now the operator of Petroleum Service Contract, or SC-53, for the onshore Mindoro Natural Gas Exploration Project, the firm said on Monday, as it cited a letter from the Department of Energy. After thorough review of the technical, legal, and financial qualifications of the continuing partners, the request for redistribution of participating interest among continuing partners and the assignment of Field Drill as operator of SC-53 is hereby approved. So that's uh, the reason why the stock price jumped. In 2014, SC-53 consortium members were the UK-based Victim Petroleum PLC, which owns which has 35%, Resource Management Associates, 35%, Philodrill, 22%, Anglo, 5%, and Basic Energy Corp. at 3%. So that's um, good news for Philodrill. And if we take a look at the stock na yun, laki ng jump, oh. the previous two days, January 18 pa lang, dito meron na sa 15, no? may bali-balita na siya. Ang pinaka-support level na kukunin natin will be the EMA 20, which is at uh, 1.44 centavos. While the resistance, kung merong historical, tingnan natin yung historical niya. Malayo na yung historical ni Philo Drill. 0.40, 40 centavos. Uh, sorry, it's 4 cents. This is way back 2014 April. No, so that's our resistance level. And uh, it reached the resistance level kanina at 0.39. No? 0 0.039, which is the highest for the 52 weeks. Okay, next let's take a look at PHA. So PHA had an engulfing candlestick today, which is a sign of reversal. Pero above pa rin yung ating indicator sa, sa mga candlestick. In fact, malayo pa siya. Ngayon, uh, mukhang this is a sign of side, uh, sideways movement. So if you see a green candlestick kinabukasan, then sideways na yung movement. However, if you see another red candlestick uh, na mas mababa yung closing price kesa ngayon, then nagbago na yung, maaring nagbago na yung trend. Okay. So ang ating support, I would place the support at our EMA20 at 2 pesos, while our, our resistance would still be in this area, mga 3. 305 and adding resistance for this stock. Next, let's take a look at AC. It's uh, the num the ninth most active. Ninth. <laughs> yung uh, nireview natin first eight, yan yung most top eight most active. Okay, nag profit taking si Ayala Corporation and it is at support level. It has been moving sideways the past few days and if you take a look at the stock, sideways movement. And if you take a look, you M20 and M50 piercing through lang the candlestick. Eh. So on the way uh, to recovery to ating economy, and we expect after the sideways movement, mag move on yung ating stock market. Ano? Let's take a look yung news item on Ayala Corp. Okay, sabi niya dito, yung mga companies kasi, nakikita niyo ba? Basahin ko na lang, ano? Okay, sabi dito, sa business world, Ayala Corp to donate 120 million worth of COVID-19 vaccines from AstraZeneca. Okay, more than 120 million worth of vaccines for the COVID-19 will be donated by Ayala Corp. By the way, yung mga corporation, no, they're already uh, uh, talking to the vaccine companies no, on, uh, on the vaccination no, of their employees no, and they will also be donating. Kung nabasa niyo yung news from Manila, uh, the city government of Manila is um, also in talks with uh, the vaccine companies to purchase vaccines for their constituents. No? So nakita ko kanina yung uh, video ni, yung interview ni Isko Moreno uh, a week ago with Karen Davila na sinasabi niya na they have acquired from Pfizer the, the vaccines. No? They are acquiring or has acquired yung vaccines from Pfizer. Okay, so that's news for Ayala Corp. And uh, kung titignan natin, nagko-consolidate lang yung stock. So, sideways movement lang siya. And it will move within the range of resistance is 850. And support at uh, at new support level niya, 795. Okay, and then finally, we have ICT. Okay, ICT. Actually, pataas yung movement ni ICT, no? So, if we will... Actually, 
it's a uh, an upward channel and uh, if you'll notice yung yung chart niya nagbabounce sa EMA 20 no oh, I'm sorry nagbabounce siya sa blue line which is our 50 day exponential moving average kung trend line yan at magdo-draw tayo ng parallel channel ito siya yeah so diyan lang siya naglalaro sa channel na yan so if you see yeah, piercing through the candles, it's slightly higher you movement on channel. Eh. So the gain is 1.6 points or 1.26%. Now, we have balita sa ICT. From the Phil Star, ang sabi niya, ICTSI boosts birth capacity at MICT. The International Container Terminal Services or ICTSI is now ready to handle additional volume at its flagship Manila International Container Terminal with the completion of its birth expansion project. Primarily the birth expansion which added another 150 meters to birth 7 creating a 600 meter continuous birth together with adjacent birth 6 to accommodate over 8,000 TEU capacity vessels. So. May I just share with you the commentary of uh, BDO Nomura on ICT. So, ang sabi niya dito, the expansion is included in our ICT estimates as well as expansions slated for its Mexico, Ecuador, and DR Congo terminals and the new port in Rio de Janeiro, about 5% total additional capacity this year. Overall, the company's strong cash generation relative to CAPEX the historical average EBITDA. EBITDA is uh, earnings before income taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Yan yung EBITDA. No? Over US dollars 750 million versus the US dollars 270 million CAPEX this year. The leverage ratios well below loan covenants point to the comfortable funding capability. In our view, we believe the market is undervaluing the additional headroom for continued TEU volume growth with fiscal year 2021 first semester, EV over EBITDA only at 7.7 .7 times. We have a buy rating on the stock. So, yung news na yan, ang commentary niya, so total is buy siya kay uh, ICT. Ano ba yung buy, ano niya? What is the target price of Nomura? Tingnan natin kung meron siyang target price. International terminal, 135 yung uh, uh, kanyang target price. Or an upside of about 6%. Okay, so pwede niyo paniwalaan nito, pwede rin hindi. So do your own research before buying on the stock. Yung mga index stocks naman kasi, eh, mahuhusay na stock siya. No? Ayala Corp, BDO, ICT, Pure Gold, magagaling na stock siya. So, kung bibili kayo, the risk of uh, losing or, uh, in the long term is lower dahil yan ay index stock. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market January 20, 2020. This is Benji Chidoro reminding you an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Thank you and see you again in our next episode. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsabaybay. Bye for now.